Haircut Part 2 Let's Fresh Your Memory Outline cut in the back of the head Make sure to bring the hair toward you Put the position is a 10 o'clock position Bang line, small section, hold it Bring the all hair to the top of the hair If your right side too long, move your body to the left side Tapering the hair, your vertical pull up at the behind the ear after that, you have pulled toward you the over directing. Center part, vertical cut until behind the ear. After behind the ear, you over directing cut hair. Right side of the top of the head, bring the hair toward you. A small section and a vertical section to cut until behind the ear. Then over directing all hair toward you. Check the blend section, top of the ear and behind the ear and the top of the head and the side of the head. If you like to rent a DVD, go to the YouTube Mogi Hair and new round layer haircut. You could rent it for the one month 99 cent. If you're interested in my DVD, we have a two DVD. Master one, master two, five different haircut. Also, I explained to you body position and the foot position and the body movement. Why so important haircut? I hope you like it. Now we saw the recap. I hope you understand exactly what we did the last time. Let's go see the Susie's haircut part two. Haircut part two. Right side haircut. Two o'clock position to start. You standing right side of the chair to make a small section first guideline. To make a right side outline, use the bang line, the right side longest one connected to the right side side line. You will pick up the longest front bang line, the first section. As you see, they don't have a hair there. You have to make an imagination line to cut first line. First section the front guideline, please do not take off all section of the hair. Make sure drop off few hair for the guideline. That will be a protecting guideline. When cutting the section of the hair, please do not cut off the all section one time. Just cut for the half the off, cut off, then leave the half to bring pick them up next section. Make sure do not cut off outline. I like to explain to you how to bring in a straight line. First, you pick up a hair and cut only second joint only. Then hold the hair, bring to the next section. Then the guideline you have on, cut another joint again. Then bring to the uh, end of the hair. Many hairdressers, uh, they cut whole section off, drop off the whole hair to pick up a new line. That's why it's so difficult to cut straight line to make a beautiful taper like this. When you're cutting it behind the ear, you stand in the same position, bring hair to towards you. Then you don't cut outline at all. Outline coming off automatically. Cutting hair back of the head. You see that my body way back to the back backside. My right heel is up. Then just bring back the hair to standing position. That I call body motion. Then the back of the hair. It's too short, you don't need to cut it because it's too short. I'll try to finish. Now we're going to block the behind the ear up to this. We'll make that very much taper, but not outline cut. We just, what we have to do is just pull straight up and cut first section very short, cut close. That's what we have to do first time. Next section, I pick up a hair for straight up to see the vertical cut it. Now next section, pick up a hair to drop off the all outline and then cut, just cut off a little bit, then go up to connect the next section. Now suddenly it became so much long hair there because different and a head shape. So you have to stretch the finger to, to protect and the top of the hair. Uh, keep cutting in the same way. Now you see it, my finger is really stretched. Just cut 
just a little by little I, each time you cut just drop off the bottom of the hair and then pick up the top of the hair left hand is a very stiff more like a stretch straight up because uh, you don't want to cut a hair anything left side of the head top of the head make sure it's a long hair there that's why you get straight up like that then last part behind the ear if you have a lot of hair there, please do not cut close section like this. You have to stretch the finger just a little bit of cut. Remember for the uh, outline is a bang line. So it is outside length same, but uh, the tapering uh, thickness is a big difference. Now behind the ear, we like to the over directing. Uh, do you see the first section? I don't want to bother with it. Make it sure you have to make a certain length. Depends how short you want, that's make it how short you're going to back of the hair. If you want to decide it, hold the, that section, keep cutting. When you feel cut it, just drop it, but hold it outright. Now, next section, the same way, you pull it, you see it, how much you're going to cut. Make sure protect the bottom line, drop off, then keep cutting up. Keep going up the side of the hair, keep bringing it. And, but do not leave the whole section. Now come to the back of the section. Stay the same position. Look at it and how much you're going to pull the hair. All right, just pull back again. Then drop off the bottom of the hair because remember, we don't want to cut the length off. Keep bring up and hold the section. Cut at the top and drop off the uh, previous haircut. That's what you have to do. Go back again. Go look at it to see it, how they work. Let me explain to this time the body motion is. Where you're standing and how did you move the body is um, vitally important for the cutting hair. First, you like this, hold it, at like two o'clock position, as you see it, my leg is up, then keep, look at it, hold the hair, then bring back, stand up like this, and then hold the hair. Just keep bring back the whole thing. Okay, that's what I have to be done. Do it again, one more time. Go forward to see it. My legs are up. It's still two o'clock position. Hold your hand angle and the body will just continue coming back. So don't pull the hair by the hand. Stay by the hand. Bring to the body to come back to see you for the current position. Many people do it in uh, cutting hair, just bring back to the hand. They don't do it and use the entire body to do it. So what happens is you don't get the precise to cut. Because hand moves so many different angles, different distance. But stabilize the hand and continue to use the body, you make a very precise to cut. Now last section of the back of the head, you don't need a precisely block the hair. Just pull the hair because back of the hair is already too short. Just checking up a uh, previous haircut. Make sure it's everything even. Now side of the hair, the tapering over. Just comb straight down to hold it to the bottom of the hair to push a little bit to see how much taper you did without cutting the links off. If you applied a lot of water on it, you could see much more clearly tapering. Now we're cutting the left side shorter to the longer the right side. So that meaning right side has much less tapering. This taper. So is this side going to be longer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On purpose? Yeah, focus. Yes. Remember when you're cutting hair top of the head, make sure all hair to push all the way to the back. Just leave the uh, front area. See, she don't have anything grow right on the temporary area. But this time that Longest one is the bang, right hand side of the bang. You pick them up, very gentle, uh, straight up, but you can't pick up the corner of the hair. Just stretch up, do not cut the length off. Now next section, you might be cut a little corner there, but you still can do it. You cut, keep cutting, imaginary cut, keep doing the same way. The next section, as you see the uh, diagram, hand is very steep. That's purpose to do it and protect the bottom of hair and make sure do not cut uh, top of the hair either. So that's why 
hand must be stretched way up, then weighted, and a comb has to be followed through. This section will be the behind the ear, just the last section to blend it in, right side of the hair to the left at the top of the head. Now behind the ear, we're gonna be over drinking all here. Make sure front of the hair like this. Do not pick up this is the section with a brand new line. You make a decision how much shorter you want. When you make a decision, that's the determination in the back of the hair how much you're cutting off or how much you're tapering. Now you know what to do now. That's so bringing the hair to the behind the ear area. The height is the same position. Bring back and make sure hold it in the hair. Then keep cutting. And that section's over. And pick up the next section to the hold it. That's the guideline. Then bring back to keep cutting. Now when you finish it, bring the all hair towards the right side top of the hair to see how much taper actually you did. Let's check the cut angle, the top of the hair that they connected, left to light, that's what I saw. Look at this, it is the top the perfect too much, and uh, towards the back there, you're gonna be a much uh, even them up. Yes, back is uh, became much longer, and uh, that's why they don't have a steep angle there, pretty much even. Now, as you see it, and if you took at the front bang area, the longest one, the bang side the corner, all the way to the top of the head, and over the way to the back, still same thing. Longest spot is the longest spot. So if you don't move, you could do this kind of haircut. Many hairdressers uh, move too much when they're cutting hair. Remember, she don't like to cut any length, so she keep growing. So we're gonna cut the hair just a little trim it. And once you start cutting hair standing uh, right hand side, Stay the same position, just bring in the hair to feed it the same place. This way, you don't cut anything. Well, it's just you have to cut it, but you don't cut too much off. Now you're gonna do the same thing the left hand side, standing the left side of the side of the chair. Then hold the first section. Do not move. Just feed the hair to the same position. Just keep cutting. That's all you do. Nothing else. Don't move, don't do anything. Just bring the old hair to bring towards you. If you do it, you know that the, the uh, V-shaped line is very easy to accomplish. Now you have to just adjust it just a little bit and right on the tip of the end. Then it be done for the completely. So she don't want to cut the lengths off, that's what could be done. Because she had a thick hair, there's somebody else did it very much tape at the bottom, very much. So we can't do anything about it at this moment. We'd like to check the haircut, finally check to the bottom part of the top part. That's what we're gonna do right now. We're in cutting in the back of the head, standing left side to the half foot forward. That way to cut very easy to cut the uh, parallel to the top of the head. You pull straight up, just see that for the edges only. Don't worry about the bottom of the hair. Keep it straight out. Just check it at the top of the hair only to just blend it in bottom of the top. When you like to move the right hand side, just move the foot a little bit forward to stay the half foot forward. Then continuously pick up a hair and cutting the hair. Just, just check it. Now right side of the top of the head, same way. And just pull the hair, just connect it at the top of the head how they work. Just keep pick up. Just to check the whole hair. Now you're gonna have the right hand side to standing to the left side to check it. Again, same way, you pick up a hair and push, push up, just only connect it at top of the hair to the uh, bottom of the hair. So just keep moving to the, toward the right side and uh, pick up a hair again. Just keep checking all over the head and it should be blended in or not. If you blend it in, I think to me it looks like a very good blended everything done. So finally, finally, we are finishing all haircut. Let's go review with haircut number one, number two. 
this haircut two positions stay, 10 o'clock and a two o'clock position. Left side guideline, right side guideline, different place. Left side cut, bottoms up, right side cut, top down. Don't move the foot, just move the top of the body. Right side taper, make sure stretch your finger and protect the top of the hair. Left side taper, hand the pair to the head, finger to make a guideline to cut it. Bring the hair towards you. Left side the top, finger guideline to cut the hair. Right side, stretch the finger to cut the hair. Over directing the hair, you bring the hair toward you. Check the haircut, blending all hair. Right side outline haircut and the left side outline haircut, all haircut be done. I thought all haircut done, but that's true. We have another number three to go. Inside out is one and fifty. That looks like a bit. Keep moving up. We still do the root, but now. Next one. I do the inside out, stroke cut, sinus cut, and highlight low light, then Suzy became like this beautiful ladies.